Well, I think it comes down to if, you know, um, whether it's life threatening or not. I mean, if the person is so clinically depressed, even though they have Alzheimer's, that they're not eating or they're not sleeping or they're trying to hurt themselves, um, you know, and, and we know that they could have a bit of a better quality of life, even though they had Alzheimer's, yes, it would still help to treat the depression. Because someone can have an illness like Alzheimer's, but, but once, once biochemically they're depressed, um, you know, it, it's, it's hard to get them to do anything that would help the Alzheimer's. Hard to get them to maybe get moving or participate in activities or go to a, a treatment program or something like that. It's very complicated when, when it's, especially when it's more than one brain illness at a time, it has to be teased out and, and, and uh, uh, assessed.